What's going on friends? Sean Pierce Johnson here and welcome back to our acoustic guitar journey with Alhambra Guitars. Today we are ending our journey with my absolute favorite of the line from Alhambra Guitars, the Auditorium Body Shape. Now, when you look at this guitar, you can see that there's different aspects of different body shapes to it. We see the slightly wider bottom that you normally see on a jumbo acoustic. The waist of the body is a little tighter, kind of like the double O, but the shoulders are very much like the Dreadnought. And I believe it's this hybridization of different things from different acoustic guitar body shapes. We end up with an incredibly well-balanced sound. So let's go ahead and dive into the specs and we can get to playing this guitar and hearing this thing. Now, the first thing that caught my eye with the auditorium is that as opposed to the other three acoustic models that we've looked at from Alhambra, they have gone and put a cedar top on this one. We get a really great presence from it and a very vibrant resonant sound that I really enjoy. The back and the sides are Sipo mahogany and we have a beautiful maple binding around the sides of the guitar with a very nice little binding five ply around the top of the body. And we have this really cool sort of rosette around the sound hole, which kind of looks a little bit like hound's tooth in a way. And really cool right here, a clear pick guard as opposed to a tortoise shell. So the, the wood can really be the focal point of this guitar. Again, the neck is also Sipo wood and is topped with ebony. Again, going on the sustainable route, we get a little bit of streaking in our ebony. It's not 100% perfect and a mother of pearl dot inlays. We have our bone nut up at the top and the compact headstock shape with the Graftec ratio tuners. It's got basically all the specs that I would want in terms of being a player's guitar. This also does come with the gig bag and has the same strap system. And you can of course choose the various different accessory packages that you can choose from any of the models. You can choose to have a more ornate strap, a less ornate strap. You can choose between the Graftec ratio tuners and open gear shallower tuners and you can choose between different inlay materials such as this mother of pearl or the abalone that we've taken a look at previously. And just like all the Alhambra acoustics, this is constructed using the Spanish heel method. Basically the neck and the heel are built first and the rest of the guitar is built around it. And I really do feel like that does project something into the overall sound of the acoustic guitar. So with the final model in the Alhambra acoustics line, we might as well spec out one of our own. Now I've mentioned a couple features that you can customize so far in this video, but I haven't touched on everything. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Alhambra guitars guitar customizer here on their website. You'll see the link in the description below as well as on your screen right now. Once you hit that home page, click go, and now it's time to design an auditorium, which is my favorite. So I'm basically gonna spec out exactly what it is that I would want from an Alhambra auditorium. Two different types of bracing, T and NS. Let's dive into these descriptions a little bit. T offers rich tone and balance, classic of Alhambra that allows you to play on stage without losing the characteristics of the bass notes. They can be played with less force without losing any of the guitar's nuances. Interesting. The new Alhambra models offer the musicians more versatility. They respond dynamically and show an excellent balance in all frequency ranges. Balance is really the thing for me with acoustic guitar, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the NS bracing. I love the cedar top, so we're gonna go with the cedar top on this one. Rosette, I want something a little bit fancier, so I'm gonna go with that abalone rosette. Now we have a Sipo back and side on this particular auditorium, but I want, I want that Indian rosewood. I just love the way that it looks. Go with that narrow headstock shape, pair it up with a Sipo neck, open pour satin finish, we're gonna go with a transparent pick guard. And now we can choose the preamp and there's four different options that we have available to us, all of them Fishman. And I love that flex blend, so we're gonna go ahead and go with that. And now with the accessories package. You know, this is probably the point where I have the 
hardest time deciding which of these I would actually want because I love the ratio tuners and I love the logo guitar strap from Alhambra. It's just a little bit more comfortable to me, but I like the classier look of the Schaller machine heads with the open gears and these pearl buttons. And I even like the way that these Godos look with the darker machine heads. So I'd almost like to be able to chop and change however I want. So let's just go ahead and go with, let's see. Oh, and that mock-up, that actually looks really good. With the elixir strings and the pearl buttons and the cork strap. Let's go ahead and look at the luxury. How do I feel about that? Huh. It's not bad. Although I'm not crazy about the cork strap, I st it, it's all about the aesthetic that I'm choosing here. And I really like those pearl buttons. And there it is. My specced out Alhambra uh, steel string acoustic auditorium. It looks awesome. And at 1770.56 euro, that's not a, a really bad price. Now, of course, I'm going to have to do some conversion, which you'll probably see on your screen right now. And, uh, you know, if this is something that I, I would actually be comfortable with spending what I would need to spend in order to be able to get something like this, something that looks like I want it to look, has the tone woods that I want it to have, and is as flexible of a guitar, uh, acoustic guitar at least, as I can possibly make it. So now that I like it, I'm going to go ahead and enter in my personal info so that we can get this party started. And in three months, hey, the Alhambra guitar would have uh, been here should I place the order. But uh, that maybe is something else we'll have to look at in a future video. We are going to be hearing it with the U87 and the Avalon VT737 preamp. And quite frankly, hearing these tones plugged in and recorded like this, it just sounds awesome. So I'm just gonna let you guys hear some of the musings that I've been able to conjure up with this particular guitar.
one last little bit of experimentation, let's go ahead and introduce some of my favorite plugins that I like to use for a little bit of studio trickery. <laughs> And congratulations, my friends. With that, we have completed our acoustic guitar journey with the Alhambra Steel String Auditorium model. My absolute favorite of the line that combines all sorts of features from all the different body shapes to produce what I believe is my favorite acoustic guitar sound to date. I absolutely love everything in this particular package. The body is nice and comfortable. The satin finish doesn't snag on my skin as I sweat too much. The neck is incredibly comfortable and these tuners help this guitar stay in tune absolutely beautifully. And again, much like the other ones that we've taken a look at, the examples of the wood species used to build this particular acoustic guitar are just absolutely stellar examples of their species. And I think that this clear pickguard thing, that might be something I might have to explore in the future. Just 
allowing the wood of the guitar to be the thing that catches your eye rather than having this slapped on tortoise shell thing. Although it's cool, it looks cool, and it is a very classic thing to do. I just feel like allowing the wood to be the focal point really to me exemplifies great acoustic guitar building. Because after all, acoustic guitars were there before the electric, before striking colors and striking finishes and things that from a mile away you could see it. It was all about the wood. It was all about the specimens that you chose. And that was where you got the look of your instrument. That was where you really saw and heard the instrument for the first time. You kind of heard it with your eyes. It's like eating with your eyes, it's that kind of feel. And just having these beautiful grain patterns in the cedar top running up and down the body is just something that because it's not impeded, it just looks incredibly classy. And as I said, the only thing that would make me feel like this is the perfect acoustic guitar would be the inclusion of that Fishman pickup system and maybe a little cutaway up here so that I could just get a little higher up on the neck. So maybe something for the guys at Alhambra to think about and maybe they'll think about it if you guys let me know your feedback. Whether you're, it's positive or negative, I wanna hear it. Leave it in the comment section below. I wish I could tell you we were gonna be looking at more of these because they're just so absolutely stellar. But I hope that with this acoustic guitar journey, you learned something about the different acoustic guitar body types, as well as discovered a new brand that maybe you'll want to take a look at and buy one for yourself. And hey, the videos aren't gonna stop, so please come back and visit me sometime by clicking the subscribe button and make sure you ring the bell and turn on some notifications because more videos will be coming in the near future. And if you wanna see any of those before anyone else in the world, world, becoming a member of my Patreon community is the way to do it. So if you'd like to become a part of that group, please look at the link in the description below and I would love to have you. It has been awesome taking this journey of acoustic madness with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it. I'm going to continue having fun with these acoustic guitars until I need to pass them along to the next YouTuber. Hopefully you'll be seeing some more videos from Alhambra soon and some of my friends in the community. And until next Next time, my friends, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, thanking you for joining me on this journey and wishing you all out there great tone and happy stomping. Cheers, friends.